Alright, well, so jumping right in here. Uh, this is actually a continuation of the last video because the work you're seeing here I did uh, later that same night. So uh, I did go ahead and rivet the top ribs, uh, the two halves or the two uh, pieces of the top rib to the left and right rudder skins. I decided here to just go ahead and back rivet it. Uh, you can see there I did the first rivet with the squeezer and then decided I liked back riveting so much I just went ahead and, and back riveted uh, the rest of the rivets. And that worked out fine. Uh, so switching uh, the left skin for the right and then riveting, I think this is the uh, B part of the top rib, I think the smaller piece is the B part, but same thing here, just back riveted. Uh, you leave out the, the forward three rivets on both of these because you need to be able to peel the skin back, uh, bend it back, and uh, install the counterweight later. So now I get to the bottom rib, and uh, pretty easy to squeeze most of these rivets. But uh, it's going to get difficult when I get down into the tight spot, uh, the last rivet near the trailing edge. So, so you can see here I've switched over, uh, well maybe you can tell, I've switched over to the 4 inch uh, thin nose yoke. I can use that to get to the next to last rivet uh, down there near the trailing edge. But this last one is, there's just no room to get in there. Uh, it, so there I am, you know, stewing about it. And the plans actually say uh, to use a, a, um, a blind rivet when riveting the left skin. So the final rivet near the trailing edge for the left skin, there I'm checking the plans, you know, are they really serious about this? The final rivet for the left skin they tell you to use a blind rivet, but not for this right skin. And But there is just no room to get a squeezer or a bucking bar or anything in there. So I decide, you know what, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to use a blind rivet for this one too. Uh, and that's what I'm doing here, but here's the problem I'm going to run into. The blind rivet is so tall, even after it's squeezed or set, that the shank uh, or the shop head, I guess, if you will, that this thing leaves is ma makes it so there's not enough room, there's not going to be enough room, and I think I tested out here with another blind rivet, there's not going to be enough room for the other blind rivet coming from the other side when I put on the left skin. So that's not going to work. So I go ahead and I, I drill that out or kind of cut it off, and then I start trying to figure out, well, how am I going to set a rivet in here? And this is what I decide on, and I can, I'll can tell you right now, it doesn't end up working very well, um, but I, I use a bucking bar against the back rivet plate, and then I buck against that. And it, it actually, this didn't give me the result I needed, and I, I worked at it some more, uh, and I, I didn't get that on film. I spent a long time this night trying to figure out how to get this rivet set. All right, well, I hate to end this one on a cliffhanger, so spoiler alert, I did finally get that last rivet set. Um, my wife came down and helped me, and we just couldn't, you know, two people huddled around it. It really wasn't, I didn't have a good camera angle, so didn't get any of that really uh, captured on camera. So I thought I'd at least talk about it. So what I ended up doing, uh, as you could see when it ended there, I had taken this bucking bar, uh, crammed the toe of that thing up in there on the on the rivet as best I could. I had you know it all sitting on the back rivet plate, and I was bucking against the top of this. That was pretty cumbersome. Um, that's why my wife came down to help me. So I held it, and she bucked. That worked a little bit. It got the rivet started, but I think it kind of work hardened on me, and I just wasn't it just wasn't going any farther. So what I ended up doing uh, is I sacrificed a chisel. This is now an airplane tool. Uh, ground the end of the chisel off and uh, just so it wouldn't scrape anything up. And then was able to put that up under there with another piece of metal as a fulcrum. The whole thing sitting on the back rivet plate. And then I bucked against the chisel right there. And uh, that was still kind of clunky, but it did uh, enable me to set the rivet the rest of the way. So that's how I ended up doing it. 
Um, I'd love to hear uh, how other people do it because I know that's you know one of the one of the kind of painful spots. Um, the plans talk about using a blind rivet on this side once you're putting everything together, but they don't really give you any hints about how to get into that tight spot. So I'd love to know what other people do. Um, as you can see, I'm a lot farther along, uh, so I've got the trailing edge glued in place with the tank sealant, and the two halves of the rudder are riveted together, so all that will be in an upcoming video.